Hi and welcome to Chamonix in this week's video report. As you can see behind me, the sun is trying to break through here over the valley after a mainly cloudy week. We've also had more snow falling all the way down to the town centre and all of this caused some disruption to public transport, it created wonderful conditions in all the ski areas. Earlier this week the tour was slightly busier than we've seen of late, but despite this there were no queues to speak of at any of the lifts. The visibility was sometimes a bit difficult, but the area offered some great skiing and you could still find your own space on the slopes. In the Brevant Flesch area there were the opportunity to enjoy some excellent skiing around the Connu and Index chairlifts, whilst taking in the fantastic views of the Mont Blanc range. You didn't have to wait long at any of the lifts and all the pistes had good snow cover. From the top of the Brevant Gondola the Charles Bosson slope had a layer of soft snow and you could ski all the way down to the valley on the non-slope. The snow depths at the moment are 210 to 375 centimetres in Le Tour, with a similar amount here in the Brevant Flecher area. And in Le Grand Monté, there is between 250 and 450 centimetres of snow. The avalanche risk is currently 3 out of 5 above 2,400 metres and 2 out of 5 below 2,400 metres. The forecast for the next few days is for clearer skies and very cold weather, with temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius overnight. However, we should see plenty of sunshine over the weekend, which is particularly good news as we're looking forward to the men's downhill World Cup ski race, the Kandahar in the Suge. The race takes place on the Vert Piste, which has an 870 meter vertical drop, and the best skis in the world will launch themselves down in two minutes. Access to the different parts of the course is free, so if you are in Chamonix this weekend, do make sure you don't miss this exciting event. We'll definitely be there and hope you can join us too. Bye for now.